Hello everyone, and welcome back to our channel. For ever since the Russian invasion of Ukraine, this Turkish aerial drone has proved to be one of the biggest hits of the war, at least for the Ukrainians. Since February, has obliterated an astonishing amount of Russian equipment, including 10 helicopters, 13 surface-to-air missile systems, 7 armored vehicles, 27 other vehicles, 6 naval vessels, and numerous other targets such as command posts and fuel dumps. Little wonder then that the technology has become a vital component in the war against Putin's forces as it scouts terrain and identifies targets before carrying out precision strikes using laser-guided weaponry. The Barracters took on a vital role in the early days of the conflict with Russia, helping to keep Kyiv out of Putin's reach. Most famously, they were sent to destroy Russian fuel trucks, rendering inoperable the tanks that had formed a miles-long military convoy heading towards the Ukrainian capital. The images of beleaguered Russian armored vehicles abandoned at the side of the road was an early win for Ukraine in the all-important propaganda war. A crucial characteristic of Turkish drones is that they are nearly invisible to conventional air defense systems. TB2's drones are able to evade S-300s, the next generation of Russian-developed defensive missile batteries. In Azerbaijan, in the 2020 Nagorno-Karabakh War, Turkish drones were reported to have not only avoided the S-300s, but then also taken them out. TB2s were also used to destroy numerous panzers, the Russian-designed anti-missile system that have been the mainstay of defense against Western offensives in Syria, Libya, and Nagorno-Karabakh. In fact, the Bayraktar is proving so troublesome to Putin's ambitions. In addition, it has also been rumored that Russia with a somewhat unsophisticated drone program of its own. Of course, Putin would love to get his hands on the Bayraktar, but Turkey will not sell them to Russia. However, Ukraine may well be in line for the Akinsi, a Baker-designed drone that is 10 times the size of the 21-feet TB-2. When fitted with a 280-mile range SOMG cruise missile, two 30-mile range Tibur guided bombs, and a dozen other precision guided miniaturized ordinances, the Akinsi is as almost deadly as a fighter jet and capable of staying in the air for 12 hours. Five of them are already operating in the Turkish Air Force. Two client states are reportedly awaiting delivery of their order very soon, although it is not known when any will be sent to Ukraine. Moreover, a next-generation supersonic drone, the TB3, is soon to go into mass production. Thanks for watching. See you the next videos.